Our political editor, Laurie Oakes, joins us now. So, Laurie, who are these police raids going to hurt the most? Well, Georgie, the Labor Party is squealing and smells a conspiracy, but it's pretty clear the Federal Police were acting independently, not under any direction from the government. I think it's Malcolm Turnbull who's got the real problem as a result of these raids in the middle of an election campaign. The police were called in because someone's been leaking documents that blew the whistle on delays, costing errors and confusion in the NBN during Mr Turnbull's period as Communications Minister. The leaks called Mr Turnbull's competence into question in a big way. And now, because of the drama of the raids, the stuff-ups on his watch have been thrust onto centre stage in the election. By the way, Georgie, there's been a late development. When the cops raided Senator Conroy's office last night, there was an NBN staffer with them. According to AFP Commissioner Andrew Coleman earlier today, he was there just to advise on the relevance and authenticity of material. Turns out, though, this NBN bloke was doing a lot more than that. He was photographing documents, even though they were already subject to a claim of parliamentary privilege, and he didn't just give the copies to, of the photographs to the AFP, he transmitted them to other staffers at the NBN as well. I understand the police have now admitted it shouldn't have happened. Uh, it, it certainly seems to have contravened this document I've got hold of. It's called AFP National Guideline for Execution of Search Warrants Where Parliamentary Privilege May Be Involved. Labor's lawyers have said tonight said a, a stinging please explain letter to the AFP, Georgie. All right, Laurie Oakes, thank you.